Hi guys, today I have 2080 Super from MSI that is completely dead. I checked, just uh, connected it to my PC and it is completely dead. No fun spin, nothing. But I love how these cards look. It's kind of RGB puke, I know, but yeah, just the design of them. I would really like to repair this one. Uh, my brother needs an upgrade. I don't know if that's the best card for him. Uh, maybe something newer will be better because now he's rocking 1080. So, you know, it's just one generation up. Anyway, I want this beauty to work. So let's start. Uh, let's start with uh, measuring the PCIe slot. So we go the fourth from this notch to the left. Four. That is 3.3 uh, volt. <laughs> and already, uh, do you see on the multimeter, uh, we have mega ohms, which is not normal. We're supposed to be getting a hundred, hundreds of ohms, maybe some kilo ohm, maybe two, depends on the card, but not mega ohms. And the 12 volt is five kilo ohms or thereabouts in charging. So I, I won't even measure it further, you know, uh, no point. We need to open it and see what we can do about the 3.3 uh, volt rail. The card was never opened before. And I should mention before doing anything else on this card, uh, I inherited it from a local computer shop, Arcadia Express. Um, and I'll tell you a bit uh, more about the story, how uh, this card came to be on my bench today, uh, later on. As we can see, the pads need replacing and they are not even that big, why they are so small? And next, uh, the thermal paste is super wet still, which is surprising. So I guess, oh, and look, we have fuses, MSI, thank you, oh, we have no fuse on 12 here bad MSI but it's better than nothing though, right <laughs> uh, this one mostly to protect the motherboard uh, so we have one two three four I see a line going here right what's on the other side there is something as well yeah there's another fuse right there is that a fuse for another 12 that goes to the usb or something i don't know well we do know that we don't have 3.3 Megomes. I don't know where this goes and why it wouldn't be there. So I think we should start because it's MSI. MSI is nice because you can find um, oftentimes the board views for it. So I want to know what is in front of the 3.3 volts, right? The first thing that the uh, supply goes to. Okay, let me show you something very interesting. So, on the 3.3 volts, we get 
six mega ohms, five mega ohms. Um, then I wanted to check the 12 volt PCIe and I have open line. Here also I have open line. The other side of the fuse, 1.3 meg. No, other side of this fuse, I get two megs. What the hell is going on with this card? So, both these fuses are blown. This fuse on one side I get kilo ohms, and other side kilo ohms. So this fuse is good, but both these fuses are not. You know what? Before we go into 3.3, we need to check those fuses, rather change them, because yeah, these high resistances everywhere on this card very weird and of course i don't have this style of fuses or i have but don't know where so i found one fuse here which is marked z which should be 20 amps i found this also marked z but it's so tiny so probably better keep looking because otherwise i have 112 amp 110 amp <sighs> my fuse situation is not good well i have nothing else so first we dispose of the old capacitors you know i don't want them to blow in my face and certainly i wouldn't be reusing very old capacitors so they may as well go Turn on whatever we have 442 degrees and 95% airspeed. That's a thick board. And that was. What that card was? GP102 Pascal. 1080 Ti, was it one time, probably, and the core is dead on it, and I can see memory taken out, that means the all the memory uh, chips are shut, and the core memory controller is shut. Thank you, old card. And another one. This is tiny. I would be using more solder probably to put it on. Because it's, it's tiny. Oh well. So now it's time to remove the old to all the fuses that blow, the blue, sorry, and I'll be using some hot air here, but I'm pushing them more than normal because I want them as fast out of the board as possible. Now I'll show you the issue I have. So this one, this fuse there, right, this fits. This one, barely. So I'll be doing like blobs of solder there. Um, you know, it's still rated the same. It's 20 amps. But it just won't look very well or very nice. Uh, <sighs> note to self buy a lot of S and D fuses. This is where we at. Um, so they both solder soldered in. There's a lot of flux still. But you know we don't care about that at this point. Uh, we want to measure now from 
these guys that we have continuity on both even though we'll probably get these megomes and megomes on 3 volts I never had this card like 2080 super or MSI 20 whatever so maybe that's normal these high resistances I doubt it but you know I, I won't know if I don't try so now it's time to connect it and see if if it gives any signs of life there is no short on the other side of the fuse which you know allows us to just power it on um cart is connected now to that rig there as per usual look how fancy i have a thermal pad on some aluminum that is super posh right and i hope this monitor is on because you, you can't tell if it's on or off it's the cheapest thing i could find doesn't even have an led to tell you that is uh, <laughs> uh, suspended at the moment or it's off so do we have power no i need mains right give it a moment see what the debug light will tell us i don't know if this card may be too new for this mm, look i'll give it one more chance because the core is really getting hot like like it's supposed to so i uh, disconnected the hdmi connected connected it again yeah but no picture but the core is hot so something is working definitely we have v core card is on PCIe mains start oh no hundred percent fans but it's no longer dead <gasps> look look I can't believe It was fuses. It was just fuses. What a score. All right, uh, let me test it for a bit. Uh, it's not fully on, like it, it, the temperatures may be bad, blah, blah, blah. But uh, the heat sink is like good enough to make at least a quick stress test. Test start. Uh, I always start with heaven, then something more demanding like, like Formark. Um, so this is a GPU-Z, 2080 Super, all good, PSCIe times 16 which is good, unfortunately only 8 gigs of frame buffer but you know it is what it is. Um, although it was just the fuses, I've learned a lot today, I must say. <laughs> I've learned that I need a new test rig on my workbench because I, I do also repair older graphics cards, as you know, probably if you watch any of my other videos. And it's good enough for the old cards, but if I have like something newer than Pascal, it oftentimes refuses to work so 20 series 30 series now 40 series will be probably showing up uh, how's our fps good so i learned i need to dispose of my favorite blue rig there which is unfortunate but you know it served me well and i also have some other rigs that i can just use so 
not the end of the world. I also learned that I need a lot of fuses, SMD fuses. I'll probably order some, uh, because 12 amp I have, but 10 amp, 20 amp, uh, those kind uh, in different sizes I really need. That's our sensors. Uh, clocks are good, temperatures are atrocious, but it's fine. Uh, it doesn't really have a proper thermal paste or anything on it right now. This card came to me because it was tried as a test. So basically it was taken from a working computer to a computer that was giving some weird artifacts on its graphics card. So the guys took this card, swapped it to another PC and this card was dead. So when they were unplugging the PCIe, they were uh, or plugging the PCIe cables, whatever they did, I don't know how this is even possible. But the fuse is blue and they gave me the card for free. So now it's mine and it's working. We've learned a lot, you know, just from this uh, short repair. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. I know it wasn't a super interesting one, but at least we know, see, when you plug and unplug your devices, maybe, I don't know, maybe the PC was working, right? And it was working. And because uh, I need to stress that what uh, I just described wasn't done in the computer shop. It was done by the previous owner of this card. So I suspect they swapped the card when the PC was working. Either the PC that this was taken out from was working or the PC that they were fitting that into was working. And that's why the fuse is blue, because the card is fine. We also learned high resistances, like hell high on this card. Mega ohms on every rail. <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks again. And see you next time. Thanks for watching.